is your business a mecca for someone or something? Sharon Hornell's from here. And our spirit-related spiritual idiom for this month, the month of April, is a mecca for someone or something. Mecca, of course, is the birthplace of Muhammad in the Islam religion in Saudi Arabia. It's only open to Muslims. No one else can go there. So what is a Mecca? A Mecca is a place that is exceptionally popular for uh, a group, an interest, a thing. It's a place, usually a place, or it can be a business, a company, uh, that's what we're getting at today is is your business a mecca does it attract people but it's a place where people are attracted to where people go it's the most important place relating to something so the question really is is your business the most important place for the thing you do the people you serve how do you know are you attracting customers to you do people search you out and come to you are you known for something in particular are you the expert and you can tell based on your reputation and going around and looking at yourself from the outside, getting a different perspective and saying, well, what are people saying about our business? What are people thinking about us? What are they feeling about us? Not necessarily what we're branding and putting out. What are they actually understanding and remembering about us? We can look at our feedback. We can look at word of mouth. If you have zero word of mouth and nobody talking about you, chances are you're not a Mecca. Now, what's another word for Mecca? A Mecca could be considered, uh, a lot of marketers say cult. I remember the ClickFunnels clan and, and Russell Brunson in his book, Talks, Expert Secrets, talks about building a cult. Well, cult has negative connotations for many of us, so Mecca may be a better word or a hub or a safe harbor or a congregation. Whatever word works for you, we all want people coming to our business so we can grow and supersize and serve more people in the world. Uh, so curious today, would you consider your business a mecca for something or someone? Uh, when we were in the Italian food manufacturing business, our business was a mecca for people that wanted the best handmade ravioli in the world, the, the best, tastiest, biggest, yummiest ravioli. We were a mecca for that. I still get weekly and sometimes daily requests for those products and services, which are currently, uh, especially since the pandemic, on hold. So, are you a Mecca? Are you attracting people to you? Are you an expert? Are, do people come to you for a specific thing? Are you a magnet or a pollster or a driving force or a, a, a safe haven or a place for people to go when it comes to your product or service? I can think of, of dozens of examples of things that people would consider a Mecca. Uh, Paris, for example, is a mecca for the fashion industry, right? Fashion week is in Paris. Uh, things like that. Hollywood is a mecca for movie making and being discovered in film stars and actors, right? So our uh, Jerusalem is a mecca for Christians, etc. There's all kinds of meccas. So how are you becoming the mecca, the cult, the safe haven, the harbor, the place people are attracted to for your products or services. Share in the comments below so we can all learn together and I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting spirit related idiom for the month of April. Have an awesome day.